to prepare for the extreme violence they face on the streets. The elite canine unit of the St. Paul PD put their dogs through the hardest training possible. And tonight, it's the toughest yet. This is our canine countermeasure scenario. And what we're going to have, we're going to have a violent domestic assault suspect. Officer Brady Harrison is playing the part of the bad guy. The reason we're using experienced canine handlers as agitators is so they know not to overpower the dog and create failure, or the dog could potentially disengage and run. Yeah. Obviously, the dark environment, the lights are going to be on, the spotlight are beyond. That'll create stress in the dog as well. You know, it's like gearing up for a football game. I love it. It'll be firearm. It'll be aerosol. It'll be baton. It'll be hands. And then at the very end, we're going to have a taser. It'll make my hair stand up for crying out loud. These are the kind of violent situations that the police canines face every day. No matter what happens, the dog has to stay focused. One mistake could have deadly results. And the objective of this is twofold. It's number one, to have these officers use every force option on their belt. And they're supposed to do this while the dog is engaged with the bad guy. And the dog needs to learn that the handler is going to come in and assist the dog. And the handler has to understand that it isn't a free for all with the dog. We just don't stand by and cheer the dog on. No longer it's, is it nerves, but there's adrenaline because you just don't know where the dog's going to bite you. When you get bit hard, all of a sudden your adrenaline gets pumped up pretty good. But uh, I kind of enjoy the stuff. <laughs> I'm kind of weird in that way. It's more of an adrenaline rush for me rather than fear. Fear is just an emotion. 